What's going on you guys? Andrew Roboto here and welcome to Five Nights in the Underground where this is a game based off of being underground and opening an establishment. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game. And we'll see what it has to offer for us. Help wanted Skelebro's Pizza. Family looking for pizzeria looking for security guard to watch 12 a.m. 6 a.m. blah blah blah. Not responsible for injury, death, blah blah blah. Didn't read the paper. Get to finish it, but that's okay. Let's start night one. Get dunked on. Oh, we got a phone call. Are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Alvis. Game show ad. Skelebro's Pizza. Um, as you may know, this is the rebranding of the restaurant that family diner. <laughs> Remembering that place gives me the chills. Oh, right. I know, right? Uh, probably don't know what happened there. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I guess I could tell you a little bit about it tonight. It's, uh, it's a bit hard for me to talk about. Okay. After the monsters escaped from the underground, Chris decided to open a pizzeria to help us monsters make a better That's sound. There were, um, uh, two original animatronics. <laughs> I haunt the nose. Lena and uh, Cora. She was created for two reasons. Cora, as okay. As a memorial to King Asgore's and Queen Toriel's daughter, and to act as a security bot. Uh, apparently, Frick says Charles Stoll followed her around the underground. Huh. And I wonder why Charles followed her under the ground. As a request from Cara, her animatronic version was made into a, to a security measure. She says that she wanted to prove that she can protect others, and that she's changed, thanks to Frank. <laughs> Just like Kill how Frank, Frank okay. everyone else. But then, um, something happened. Oh, I've been talking for so long. I can uh, tell you more about it tomorrow, if you want. Now, there's a few things I can tell you about the animatronics. At night, the animatronics are able to move through the building freely. Well, mostly, uh, they, they usually follow their daytime programming pattern. Sans is a lazy bone, <laughs> just like the original, so he probably won't move. Uh, if he does, he will go to the right. Also, he may hide from the cameras, but you'll know he's there because of his glowing blue eyes. Adriel, okay. which is another memorial, will walk around the right as well. Asriel and Hobart, okay. usually stays to the left side of the restaurant. Okay, Frank. I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. She's uh, really strong. Just like the original. <laughs> she could easily pick you up with those big toes. Oh, God, please don't. No, I don't want that. No. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I, I forgot you were there for a second. Uh, as I was... Oh, Jesus. What is with the music? God, I didn't even get to finish three listeners of the phone call because I heard music coming. Okay, I guess I have to close the door when that happens. Alright, so this office looks very... This whole camera looks similar to Finance of Freddy's 1. Hello? Are you there? Yes, I am. Good! I'm Alvis, and welcome to your job at Skelebro's Pizza. Um, as you may know, this is the rebranding of the restaurant, Sans' Family Diner. <laughs> Remembering that place gives me the chills. Oh, right! You, uh... Every place gives me the chills, trust me. Thanks to Frick. <laughs> Just like how Frick changed. 
there's a TV that can tell you about the animatronics. Okay. At night, the animatronics are able to move through the building freely. Well, mostly, uh, they, they usually follow their daytime programming pattern. Sans is a lazy bone, <laughs> just like the original. So he probably won't move. Sam will. If he does, he will go to the right. Also, he may hide from the cameras, but you'll know he's there because of his glowing blue eyes. Okay then. And Azriel, which is another memorial, Azriel? will walk around the right as well. Papyrus usually stays to the left side of the restaurant. I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. She's uh, really strong. Just like the original. <laughs> she could easily pick you up with those big toned muscles. Oh, no. Cuddle and crush you. <laughs> oh, God, no. Okay, I will. <laughs> what I was going to say is that it's so it's to the left as well. Why am I telling you this? Oh, uh, well, it's an animatronic. You can't your animatronic without a suit. That, that's ha! Got rid of you! Yeah, very awkward. Hey, at least your death would be slick. Not, not that you could die or anything. It's just a possibility. Um, don't act so scared. Their movement is slow, so they won't get too easy. You oh, I am very scared. You will protect you. After you close the door, they will wander off to another room. Um, I guess that's all. I will call you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Alright, so this is one of the few FNAF fan games where there's a female phone. Give him the phone call. Okay, what are all those noises? I'm looking. Sorry, I was, I'm having trouble putting the camera up. Okay, what is with these game ads? I'm, try, I'm trying to be a night guard and protecting myself. I don't have time for game ads. Like, what is with these game ads in this game? This game. Alright, so I don't do the music animatronic. I don't do the music animatronic. I gotta close both the doors, which I don't even know what door comes from. It's just weird. Hey! It's me again. What? I forgot to tell you something important. Um, the monitor is MPC brand. So there might be a few advertisements from uh, Metaton. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, told you. Oh, then good job. Thank oh, you. Oh, right. There's a power meter on your monitor that will let you know how much power is left in the building. Since uh, the restaurant is open, we have to save extra energy to reduce costs. So you'll have a limited amount of power for the night. <laughs> if you run out of power, you, uh, you'll be vulnerable. So keep an eye on that. Oh. Yeah, I got that. That as well? <laughs> oh, in that case, uh, keep going. Good, good night. God, this is the first FNAF thing game I played where the phone got, where the, the phone person just calls again later in the night. Like, 
What the heck? I don't like. Why did you call again before 5 a.m.? It's 4 a.m. now. I don't get why that is. Like that's just weird. Yeah, and there's these game show advertisements. I don't know why that is. So far, the only character that showed up at the door is the music girl. Which I've already had to close the doors on her, because I think she comes from the left door. I don't know which door she comes from. Uh, what? Sorry for interrupting. I wanted to check if you were all right. Well, uh, thank you. Yes, I do. You? Good. Uh, me too. Um, okay, bye. Okay, bye for the third time. God, that's the, that's the third time the phone girl called me. Like, like, what is up with that? Like, this is the first FNAF game I've played where the phone girl just calls me three times. Like, what? Yeah, I'm already checking the hallways and no one's came yet. Alright, we beat night one. So that's good. God, that was that was a weird night. If you ask me, that was the weirdest night I've ever played. Weirdest night one I've ever played. Anyways, we'll take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching everyone. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you give me, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.